Hey guys, uh, I was asked to do a video on where to use the advanced resources, so I'm going to try and run through all of those. Uh, the advanced ones being souls, luck points, uh, guild points, feather, and let's go through all of them really. Uh, so I'm going to start with these souls. These, honestly, uh, you should basically buy whoever is you are looking at to further your team. Right now, I'm saving for this Freya right here because I need her, but you can see that I bought the Tesla. I That was kind of a moment of weakness, and he was my very first six star, so I did that. I also did buy um, a Reaper when he was in there for a limited time. Really, you shouldn't bother with the four stars down here because if you're patient, and remember this is a long, long game, so you should be patient and you should try to play for some efficiency and you shouldn't and you will get free four stars every day from doing events. So really you shouldn't bother with these too much unless you know you're desperate. But anything here is just whoever happens to strike your fancy. Uh, every few weeks they do a limited event where they put two new five stars in there for only one week and you know it may be worth it to keep three to five thousand on hand just for those or just you know like I said buy whoever just happens to be good for your team uh, I also intend to try and buy this Scarlet at some point but we will see I, there's no guarantee these souls are actually very hard to come by you only get ten per um, ten per three star that you send to the altar uh, let me see I wonder how much you get for a four star. I actually don't know. You would get 25 per four star, but you really shouldn't be destroying four stars. Uh, you should kind of only focus on doing three stars because you can get so many of them so quickly. And four stars are a little bit rare. Luck. Uh, this one is kind of. It's up in the air. I wouldn't buy gear because honestly gear you can get through just gold and I would focus on heroes. Now we've I've tried to put together a list of um, heroes that are available through luck summon but honestly it's a lot of them. I've seen Hester, Sir Conrad, the Spider, Zewana, I've seen um, Reaper, no 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 I didn't see Reaper, I've seen Saw Machine, I've seen um, I think Abyss Lord and Minotaur. So there's a lot of them, and a hero from this shop is anywhere from eight to ten thousand, I think. So um, kind of just put together your luck points doing the roulette spins, and uh, there's no real reason reason to save them for. Just you know, kind of buy whatever you happen to need. I would save for one of those heroes. I. I kind of refresh. I refresh the shop once a day, just looking for heroes. And once you find one that you like, just leave the shop there. You do not need to refresh it again. It will not auto refresh on you. Like only, I think only the the roulette wheel auto refreshes on you. So just kind of leave those there. Leave the roulette tokens. Wait till something good shows up and just buy it. I think I bought um, a saw machine for eight thousand and. Yeah, I have 8,000 stored up right now. Guild points. Um, this is also a moment of weakness. It's very sad that this is showing, but I did buy... Well, actually, you can see that I bought quite a few 4 stars. Uh, this is when I was first starting the game. I had no idea what I was doing. I wasted quite a lot of resources early on in the game. Uh, you, you know, you tend to do that before you really know what you're doing. Um... One thing to note, I've been to or I've heard that refreshing for twenty thousand gives you exactly the same selection. That's I that's what I heard. I don't know that for sure. I don't know anyone that's spent the twenty thousand to do it because twenty thousand are a lot. Anyway, with guild points, the only thing that you should be doing is leveling tech. Just level all of these. These are permanent um, stat boosts for all your characters. And you can get all of those four and five stars elsewhere. You cannot get guild tech anywhere else. You should just focus on these. 
my guild tech my guild tree is a little bit um, crazy I did only just recently get that centaur on my team so now I've been kind of leveling all of these wanderer ones in the middle I had none originally uh, you can see I avoided all the assassin ones because I do not have an assassin on my team. So in this case, level you know, whatever happens to be primary on your team. My team is very mage heavy, so I, uh, I have mage very highly leveled, and everything else is just kind of willy nilly. Uh, the most Im one of the more important ones in here is cleric speed to get your healing off faster. Uh, that's just one of the most important guild techs if you if you have clerics on your team otherwise you know whatever you may also want to focus on hit rate which you can see i don't really do but that helps um where is my shop last one is feathers this one you really should only buy pet food because uh, buying these heroes is extremely overpriced. You don't, you get maybe, I don't know, a thousand feathers per two days or something like that from ex, from uh, expedition. It's not really worth it to spend four months to buy one Verthandi. I mean, if you want to, that's your prerogative, but that would be highly, that would just be very slow going for very little reward. Um, yeah, so pet food is the only way to level up your pets. Oh, I can level up. What can I level up? I can level up my skill. Uh, it's the only way to get these, and these are permanent stats for all of your heroes in the battle. So, you know, I feel like these are a lot more helpful towards what you can do. Uh, I've been lazy on buying pet food because I've been kind of broke. You can see I have 1.7 million, but honestly, I'm trying to save it for uh, leveling my guys as much as I can. Um, Legion, I mean, if you can place well in Legion, you don't have to place that well. I think I think I completely forgot about playing it one week, and I was like 100th place, and I still got, was it 700 Legion points or something like that? For basically not even playing it. I did maybe like three or four matches on the first day and then completely forgot about it the rest of the time. So, Legion points, personally, I would say are best spent on Miracle Eyes. Just because these are so hard to come by and they have such a good ch chance of getting you five star shards or five star heroes, even. Uh, at some point, we're going to have to consider buying these uh, the licenses. But for now, I mean, they gave you 50 of them all free when the when they first added them to the game, and you get a bunch free from every every couple days from the planet trials. So I don't think you need to spend Legion points on them. Uh, speaking of this, I'm a little bit miffed that when you start uh, planet trials again, it automatically sends you to a higher level, and you lose out on all the chests on the way. That's a little bit upsetting because that was a lot of purple souls and licenses, but oh well. So yeah, these I would just I would just buy Miracle Eyes. Um, you see, I can buy six of them. I'll probably end up doing that right before right before the event and or right before the Miracle Eyes event, which should be next week. But honestly, I don't know. This week's event kind of caught us all by surprise, so maybe everything's been shaken up. We will see. These, I think, I th I think would be the same thing, just by Miracle Eyes for a hundred. They're gonna give you a hundred of these footballs per day for this week, so that's a free Miracle Eye every day this week, just like during the Miracle Eye event itself when you get one free eye per day. So that's all very helpful. Um. A bonus thing is, uh, where is it? Yellow souls. At the beginning, they're always very hard to come by, but you do not need to spend any extra resources to get them because after a certain point, when you basically have your first five star team, 
and maybe have like one or two six stars, you will have more of these than you know what to do with, and there is no way to use them. You will not get enough heroes fast enough to be able to use them up. You can see I have 40,000 unused right here. Um, you, And it, that number is just going up. I've, I've been leveling people randomly, and I just can't use these. There's no way to use them. Um, so that's all the more limited resources in the game and where I think best to use them. Um, yeah, I, I guess that's about it. Uh, let me know if there's anything you want me to talk about on, in another video, and I'll try to record another one as needed. Um, yeah, until next time, that's that.